Good evening and welcome back. Before we start, uh, I would like to remind you all to please turn off your handphones and you are welcome to take photos and videos for this performance, but please don't use flash. And now the announcements. I would like to invite to the stage for the welcome remarks on this opera evening, Dr. Gianluca Rubagotti, Deputy Head of Mission, on behalf of His Excellency, Dr. Paolo Crudelli, amb Ambassador of the Republic of Italy. So please welcome Mr. Rubagotti. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, operatic event. First of all, let me thank uh, NTU for organizing this event and in particular the director of this beautiful uh, building and institute which is hosting us tonight. I'm delighted to introduce today's performance. Why? Opera is a distinctive part of Italian cultural tradition, but it goes even beyond. We could really see opera as an example of cultural heritage, both tangible and intangible. Its tangibility is evident when you look at the theaters in which it is hosted normally, if you look at the precious instruments which accompany the singers, or at the beautiful costumes, which contributes greatly to the performances. But at the same time, it is the quintessence of intangibility. The art itself of singing and playing is something that you cannot grab, but you can easily be carried away by its fascinating and enchanting power. Let me stress another important concept, which is universality. Why do I mention this idea? Because opera is very typical to Italy, but it goes far beyond. If we take, for example, tonight's programs, and you will see that it is slightly different from what you can read in the original, in the original draft, we will start with the pieces by Mozart. Mozart, of course, was not Italian, but the lyrics of his operas are in Italian language. And you have to consider that at that time, during his time, Italy was not even in place as a unified country. Secondly, I happen to speak quite frequently with the academies of sing and uh, bel canto in Italy, and they tell me that there is a growing and growing interest from this part of the world, from Asia. Every year, more and more students in these academies come from the eastern part of the world, and, which is, and this is something that I'm really pleased to stress uh, here tonight in front of you. And thirdly, opera can also be seen as a token of uh, universality and hope if we think, for instance, that a few months ago in Tehran, Iran, a performance of Giannis Kiki by Puccini, an area of which will be uh, performed also tonight, was staged in front of a mixed public. And this was quite contrary to the, to the common rule there. And we had uh, a woman, a group of women, singing and playing in front of a mixed crowd, which is something, let's face it, quite unusual at those latitudes. So uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight at the end of an intense program of uh, heritage science, uh, which is uh, a sector in which Italy can boast a series of excellencies which are worldwide recognized. The, uh, the work, uh, I know, that took uh, a lot of effort to be, to be realized, and uh, as a representative of the Embassy of Italy and of the Italian institutions, I can tell you that we are ready, willing, and able to further deepen the collaborations between our institution and NTU to make uh, this new science uh, 
which is uh, strategic for both Asia and Europe at the center of further uh, activities together. Italy and Singapore enjoys fruitful relations in the field of scientific research, and we think that heritage science can be, can be yet another chapter in this very interesting and promising sphere of uh, the bilateral relations. But now let's get uh, to the performance itself. And I'm particularly pleased to see that in the program tonight we will hear pieces from both uh, Giuseppe Verdi, whose anniversary, 200 years from his birth, was in 2013, and also uh, by Giacomo Puccini, who died, who passed away in 1924, which is 90 years ago. So now the floor is to soprano Akiko Tao and to maestro Francesco Frudua. Let's welcome.
Okay, so now to close this wonderful night, we are all invited to a New Year toast offered by the Italian Embassy. So please proceed to the foyer outside and thank you. Good night.